everyone. Welcome. Just get rid of that autofocus there. Hi. Hi guys, welcome. Hi Nick and Tina. Hi Linda, hi Deb, welcome guys. Come in. Hi Jo Beth, welcome. Hi Rochelle. Come in guys and settle down. So it's the last of Halloween. Um, it's probably still Halloween for you guys, yeah? If so, happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, it was Halloween here yesterday for us, so uh, we're over it, been and done. It's now the 1st of November, which is kind of scary. Um, this year has just flown. Flown. Um, so, yeah. How cool is that? Did everyone enjoy their Halloween? And did it, they enjoy their month of 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 Spooktober. Hi Loretta. Oh awesome. There won't be any pencil breaks today. I'm using some Karen Brush Pro markers today. These ones Ugh. by Karen. <laughs> Hi Zeely welcome guys come in hi Alicia ah oh, you love Halloween uh, it's actually not autumn here it's borderline summer we had two really hot days in a row yesterday was terrible today is going to be the same and we've got a weekend full of wet weather so it's going to be muggy and yucky I'm sure of it I hate it. I don't like this time of the year. I don't like summer. <laughs> I stick with all of the other seasons except summer. <laughs> no worries, Loretta. Hi, Holly. Welcome. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Um, so, I'm live. We're doing this. We, um... Uh, I've had such a huge, huge month this month. I have done so many images... Um, and uh, I don't think we're going to get as many tonight because it is Halloween and people have got trick-or-treaters and kids and things like that and that's fine that's fine hi hi Helen hi Karen welcome guys um, so yeah so it will probably just be a quiet one tonight today this morning <laughs> so um mystic art mirrors has a new book out uh, I've got to flip through here for you guys and I'm going to colour an image from the book uh, using the Karen brush markers. I've done a couple of images uh, from, her name's Christina or Kristen Glorious Ink. Um, I've got a couple of images that I've done. I did this one on my birthday. Uh, this is from the Zodiac coloring book. Also from the Zodiac coloring book. So I've done a couple of them. And uh, I have plans to do the lovely um, Tinkerbell from the fairy tail princesses coloring book so I've got that printed out ready to go and I'm um, also one from her galaxy coloring book I had printed out this is on watercolor paper too so she's got quite a few books I love them I've managed to get the PDF versions of a couple of them but I also have 
fairy tale princesses. I have the first mermaid and mermaid coloring book, and I also have mermaid and friends as well. So great, great, pretty pictures. They're clear and nice. I like them. Very pretty. So um, I'll show you a flip through of the new book, and um, and then you go. Hi, Sean. Hello. Uh, so I'll show you a flip through of the new book because it's it's I like it. It's pretty. It's different. It's got some Halloweeny type images for the last day of Halloween, which is kind of cool. And the unicorn, you know, that's Halloween. Come on, everyone wants to be a unicorn, right? Unicorn or a mermaid. <laughs> So um, I've got a flip through. Do you guys, the Zodiac ones are pretty. I did, what was the ones I did? Uh, one of them was Pisces, which was the fishy one. And uh, the other one was Taurus, which is my star sign. So, And this one, I don't know, she's a mermaid from the mermaid book. She came out awesome, actually. And I used Karen markers for that one, too, actually, which we'll be using today. So cool. Uh, I've printed this image onto um, Canson extra large watercolor paper um, I like this paper and I've printed it on the opposite side to the rough side so this is one side or the top side is quite rough and the underside is quite smooth so I've printed it on the smoother side yeah you just kind of popped in there Sean I just saw you at the last second <laughs> oh you did oh, okay yeah I'm always on on Friday mornings always well, technically it's Thursday for you guys. Yeah. This is my always stream. <laughs> um, we'll be starting a new colour along next week because there's five weeks in uh, November. Um, and I was so totally not organised to have it, have it ready for this week. So next week we'll be starting a new colour along. We're going to do some ballerinas. That should be fun image was by my lovely daughter Faith Rose Art or Faith Rose <laughs> so um yeah that'll be good uh, I should probably have a picture of that uh, let's see if I can find it because uh, that is already starting next week so why not it's, uh, it's a lovely little image we're gonna draw our own tutus or stick our own tutus on or oh, I'm going to anyway you guys don't have to but here we go, this is what we're going to be doing. This is three ballerinas dancing on stage. I'm going to have a play around with the background and uh, we're going to try and play around with some mixed media and stick some tutus on them. I think we're going to have fun, something a little bit different. And that's by Faith Rose. Oh, hello Nani. So uh, she's been busy drawing ballerine figurines, practicing her drawing. She's getting ready to do her last few exams, so moving on to uni. Hi Christy, welcome. Yes, happy Halloween. Hi Bev, welcome. Hi Abby, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a very sore throat and um, I think it's the weather it's just one of those you know um, so anyway there's lots of stuff going on in November uh, Sean and I are doing a collab of, of sorts I, we haven't worked out the details yet but we're going to be coloring in some now and um, oh, Sammy's got some exciting stuff happening mm, I might be involved in that uh, we'll hear more about that probably later next week or in the middle of this week. So that'll be exciting too. What else have we got going on? Mm, bit of stuff. Bit of stuff, bit of fun. Hi Jenny, welcome. Welcome to the lovely bunch. <laughs> lovely legends in this chat. What is the name of the Zodiac book? The Zodiac book is the name of the Zodiac, I'm pretty sure. Let me just have a look at my... Etsy. It is called. Hmm. 
I think she's mixed them into a physical book. Let me just look at this. Galaxy Girls and Zodiac Sign. I think that might be a mixture. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at the pictures. Yes, it is. It's a mixture of both. So she's got a physical book uh, called, I'll give you the link. Called, I'll give you the link. Ha ha ha. This is a physical book of both of the Zodiac and the Galaxy Girls book. Uh, if you would like them as PDF versions, she has them split up. So Galaxy Girls, actually, she hasn't got them split up. She's uh, put them together. Uh, well, I brought them separate. Let me have a look. Galaxy Girls. Oh, no, they are separate. Okay, so this one's Galaxy Girls. And then there's actually Zodiac Sign Ladies. These ones come in individual PDFs or you can purchase them in the book, which was the first link. Um, there we go. Now this one that I'm doing today is called Beautiful Creatures and it's her newest book. Uh, I purchased it as a PDF but you can purchase it as a physical book as well. So I've popped the links for those in the description and I'll also pop the link for the PDF version that I'm using today in the chat so you can find it there. I do because I can print them on my own paper, Sean. I like uh, the other ones I've, it's, I've actually purchased some PDFs to go with the physical books because, um, because <laughs> I like PDFs and, uh, also too with, uh, one of the earlier books was printed double-sided and I couldn't color that anyway. That would annoy me. I think it was the first one that was printed double-sided. Oh, the, and the second one. The two mermaid ones were printed double sided. So these ones here. Let me just move my things out the way. These ones were printed on two sides, and I would prefer them on single sides. So I purchased a couple of packs on that one, and also a few of this one as well, because I prefer it. Oh, that's the one I did with the Karen markers. And it's double-sided. So the newest one that she brought out, which was the fairy tale one, this is all single-sided. But um, I still copied this one onto my own watercolour paper so I could do uh, that on my own paper anyway. Let's have a look at this book, shall we? There is music, guys, so if you don't like the music, just be warned, turn it down. And um, We'll have a quick look at it. Alright, here we go. This is a PDF version, by the way. No, they're not on Amazon, only on Etsy. I'll pop the link up when you guys are watching.
So guys, what do you think? <laughs> Hi to May and Lulu and Louise. Welcome guys. We buffering? No buffering. That's annoying. <laughs> I've got my uh, painting cloth. Look at it. It's covered in paint. <laughs> uh, and I've got the Karen brush pens. Oh, my chair just... These are the colours. It's on, stuck to my lid. So I'm going to have a go with these today. Bit of fun. These markers were sent to me around my birthday uh, for from Karen themselves. And I love them. They are amazing. And you know what? Alyssa and I were talking this morning and I haven't done any colorless or anything for these I think I keep forgetting they're there because they're in a box um, <laughs> so, uh, and um, May had them out for our little Halloween challenge and I went oh I haven't had mine out for ages I'm gonna get them out and have a go with them so there you go it is kind of cute huh and oh by the way it's not censored um, I just censored it to make it family friendly there's like two images that have bare fronts <laughs> Um, but due to, you know, the YouTube community rules, um, and, um, this video is monetized, so, uh, I do have to cover them up, so there's nothing showing. But that's okay. Your copies won't be like that, of course. <laughs> I just use them like I do the Tombow markers, um, I just use them, yeah. <laughs> Um, hello again, Nick and Tina. Welcome. Yeah, they're kind of strange, aren't they? Um, I'm not into those kind of eyes either, but I think they're meant to be, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's meant to be like that. It's like glassy eyes, like the lights reflecting off them or something. You know how you, when you do take a photo of a cat and they look like an alien? That's what they kind of remind me of. <laughs> it's weird. So I finished two more Ennis images. <clears throat> uh, one of them, I'm not, it didn't come out quite like I was wanting it to, but this is the... Uh, coven which from uh where am i saying this one's from coloring heaven magazine so that's got to go in my i've got my scrapbook out ready to go and uh, also i did uh the moon witch she came out pretty cool too um, i'm doing a raw video of this one for patrons so that should hopefully be out uh, tomorrow if i get time to finish it off today if this headache will go away. Oh my goodness, I hate this weather. I'm sure when the weather changes it'll go. But I have plenty of water, so I don't know. Now, you can use them directly from the marker or you can use them on any uh, smooth surface. I'm just cleaning my smooth surface off because it's dirty. Um, I've got the... I have the Karen Dash palette. Ugh, I'm just cleaning off the smooth side. I've been using it, so it's dirty. And you can use them like watercolour as well. So I've got this little Karen Dash. This side's rough for pencils and crayons. And this side's smooth, um, which I like to use for things like this or Tombow. So the same kind of thing. Um, so I just sort of scribble on there and then use that directly from there onto the page. Sometimes. I'm not going to do that all the time. Obviously, I like to just draw it in because it's quicker. 
They're cool. They come out cool. Yeah, it depends on the paper. Exactly. So, no, I haven't found mine bleed through. Um, I like them on this uh, Canson. This Canson watercolour paper, you can drag it. So, uh, let me see if I can give you an example. Yellow is probably not a good colour. I just don't want to go too... Let's go purple. Okay, so there's water on my page. See how you can drag it. Some paper doesn't do that. It depends on the type of paper that you're using. And you can just drag it into... And that will dry all like tie-dyed looking. Loose watercolour look. <laughs> um, and uh, this is just directly off the thing there. You can use it just like watercolour. I love them because they're so pigmented. And May, I saw you use it on the Strathmore Tantone paper the other night. Was that does that um, move a lot on that paper? Can you, you know, drag it and move it around? I don't know. I haven't used it on the watercolor paper, other than watercolor paper, but I like it on watercolor. It's exactly the same as Super Tips. It's the same as. The uh, Tombow brush pens, they all do a similar thing. Even the, the Ecoline brush pens as well, they're all very similar in style. And uh, the inks and uh, watercolour or water-based, same kind of thing. Gee, they're not as pigmented, are they? And you look at it like that. Which is really uh, interesting because they are extremely pigmented. The colours are beautiful and bright in these. But anyway, same kind of things. There's no right or wrong way. Oh my god, tomorrow I'm supposed to be only 77. Oh, you mean weather? Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought you were going to be 77. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they don't bleed through. It's just like watercolour. The only thing that bleeds through is the... Um, mostly alcohol markers bleed through. Most water-based markers don't. Oh, Lulu. <laughs> That was my nine. I've done nine now. I've got uh, one more to do, but I've actually printed out two and decide. But I think I might do them all. I've still got, I might do the Wicked Witch and I've still got the Little Apprentice Witch. She's so cute uh, to do. So I'm going to do one of both of those over this weekend and then I'll be finished. I do want to do 12, I think. Oh, you do? And do you like it? On Strathmore and Tone, I put on water first and then pigment. Ah, there you go. Cool. <laughs> They're water-based, though. They're not alcohol marker. They're not alcohol ink, is what I was saying. They're water-based inks. <laughs> It is. They're awesome. I love Nina. I, I'm just sad that I can't get it very much. I'm going to do some bright colours on her today. I think we should make her... She needs like, uh, I don't know, pink. <laughs> pink? Gee, that was just uh, magenta. Let's have a look. What have we got? Magenta red.
and uh, I'm just going to push Magenta red around the very edge. Oh! I need to move my glass of water on this side. Can you see it there in the... <laughs> it's just a crystal vase that I've got and I like it. It goes tink tink when I put uh, my brush in. There we go. She got pink on her head there. Just blending it out a little bit. I need a smaller brush for her ear. That's a little bit too big. Your pencils last. Yeah, it's because it's smooth. <laughs> Some orange for me. I really like this Canson. Uh, watercolor paper. It's um, it's good. It's versatile. Like I can use the smooth side or I can use the rough side, depending on what I'm doing. Some people like that rough look. It gives the image texture, and I, I quite like smooth. And uh, I can't always afford hot press paper, uh, which is usually smooth. So uh, this is a really good alternative, I think. Just moving the colour around a little bit. Someone's outside playing around, aren't they? I'm just softening off the very edge with a little bit of just water just to get rid of that defined line. I want to leave it quite smooth there. I've been painting orange things for days but it's just not enough maize out there <laughs> well you know because there is uh, in Halloween there's always pumpkins which are orange right and autumn leaves which you usually have orange I'm just smoothing out some of this color now <laughs> just trying to give us a nice smooth edge I call it a fluffy edge but you know I'll pop a color list up uh, on patreon I may be able to do some conversions I keep forgetting that I've got these as I've said but um I may be able to do some conversion to say uh, some Tombow brush pens and maybe even some Artezas if you guys have got those instead Christmas. 
Oh, we I always at Christmas I always see green and red. I don't Christmas doesn't I don't know. That's the colours that I always associate with Christmas. <laughs> Don't talk about Christmas. It's still a whole month away. We we can just devote the month of December to Christmas. Like, really? <laughs> Let's just not go there yet. It's still Halloween. <laughs> you guys still have Thanksgiving, yeah? That's still to go, too. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a little bit of... I don't know, henna or copper brown, it doesn't really matter, but I think I might go with henna. Henna! And I'm going to put in some shadows first. Oh, I'm a bit wobbly today. I really don't know why. Heady and wobbly. I'm just going to try and keep this shoulder a little bit lighter. I can. Oh, please, no. <laughs> May. <laughs> oh, dearie me. guys are funny love it I'm just running the water brush along or well, the paintbrush along and um, just moving the colors moving out in towards the wet looks awesome actually that's one of the things I really love about watercolor is the way that the color moves out into the white of the paper it's kind of cool isn't it it's an ASMR thing <laughs> it is yeah I'm okay I, I'm just having just not feeling that great lately. I think it's just the weather change. Just the weather change. We had to move. Nani was sleeping with us um, at night and we've had to make a little bed thing for her, like a cot next to our bed because I just was getting no sleep. It was making me feel miserable. Because uh, she just liked to lay all over me and, you know, dig her paws into my back and push me out the bed. <laughs> I just, I'm such a light sleeper and it doesn't take much to wake me up. So um, I just said to hubby, that's it. I can't do it anymore. I can't do no sleep. It's not working. I'm not coping. So, uh. He moved her out for me and I've had two nights of good sleep so hopefully I'm starting to catch up actually I would have had two better nights if it wasn't so hot as well that does not help things we do for our pets eh? the things we do just using some plain water just to smooth things out a little bit.
we have to say the things we do for our pets and our kids because that happens too. <laughs> Just get rid of this for now. Till I'm ready for it. Some of that water. It's a balance between water and no water with watercolours too. And I'm turning my picture around so that I can get that nice bleed out effect too. Because I like that. She is huge, I know. <laughs> she, um, I don't know what happened. She just had this massive growth spurt and uh, she just takes up half the bed now all of a sudden. Her paw, I took a photo of her paw the other day and went, oh my goodness, showing Sean actually. The size difference between her hand, my paw, her hair paw and my hand. <laughs> It's massive. She's getting so big. Just gradually dragging it around, keeping my brush not too wet, just taking some of the water off because I don't want to spread it out too much and then I can bring it up and around Shadow, uh, your shadow, my shadow's not been that happy. She tried to make friends with Nanny, but Nanny's like huge now and, and Shadow just freaks out. She's, Nanny comes up and just puts her paw on her and she could almost flatten her. Poor little thing. Um, so yeah, she gets a bit scared and just tells her off now. She's like, nope, go away, don't come near me. I don't, I don't need to be friends because you're too big. <laughs> Nani just gets too excited. She cannot help herself. Reminds me of Lenny, the Green Mile. <laughs> She's not, not uh, deliberately doing it. It's just an accident. She just can't. <laughs> She can't control her strength yet. She's still too little. Mind-wise. <laughs> Alright, she's starting to look cool, huh? I'm good, Nick and Tina. Thank you. Is there a portrait set? I've got the full box set. I don't know. Is there different colours? Um, no, she doesn't. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the Skin 1 colour. Nope, that's Skin 2. Hang on. Skin 1. Skin 1. <laughs> Just cross that bit out there. And then there's Skin 2, which is a little bit darker. But I'm going for Skin 1. And, um... I'm actually going to use this on my palette this time because I've wet a lot of my page um, and I don't want to try and go on there while it's still wet and try to put 
the marker on there, it won't work properly. So uh, I'll just do it directly onto the page. It's actually very similar to the lightest brown colour, or if the brown, the darker brown that I did sort of faded out to similar to this colour, so just going over the lips a little bit too. So nice and soft. little bit of bleed through from the bottom there too. Just soften that off. I think I could go a little bit more of that. Just added a little bit of water so it runs nicely. Adding some into the ear. I think these are those uh, dermal, dermal, dermal uh, piercings. She's got two on her cheeks and one on her chin there. I actually know someone who does that I saw a person with a dragon tattoo on their back and they had uh, dermal piercings through the tattoo it was really cool not something I would do but cool all right a little bit more I'm just going to dry off that palette it's a bit of water on there now Almond? Hmm. Is there an almond in here? Oh, so it is a different set. It is a, a, a better, a, a more colours. That's cool. Because there's no almond in this. There's praline. Okay, wait, if I have pale orange, I think. Wait, no. Okay, so the colours I don't have are almond. I don't think I have blush either. Blush, pale orange, I've got skin, I've got pale pink, uh, ochre. I've got rosewood, I think. Yeah, I've got rosewood. I've got ochre. So there's only like th maybe three in there that I don't have. Almond, blush, and pale orange, yeah? The rest is in the other set. Oh, hang on. I've got blush and almond. I've got them all. They're already the same. Yeah, they are. I've got them all. I just found them. My bad. I was having a moment. It's all good. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm just letting that dry for a sec. You just be right back, guys.
Okay, back again. Yeah, so I've got them all. Yeah, I've got the big box, the biggest one. And I also have the metallic ones as well, which I thought I might use some of them today on here. They don't mix well with them. Um... Hey, they've got no metallic -y anymore. That's weird. The silver still metallic -y. They don't mix with water though, the metallic ones. They're just brush pens. Nope, that's okay, Melody. I'm using Brush Marker Pro by Karen. This is the big box set. It comes with all these colours. Excuse me, just sorry about the camera there. No. It's very touchy. They're all the colours in the big set. And the other set was the uh, was the metallic ones. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah, I just wanted to test them with it. Hi, Seth. Welcome. Uh, so, yeah, the metallics are a different... Yeah, they're more like a... I don't know, they kind of remind me of the calligraphy brush pen. <laughs> Uh, I need a little bit of yellow in there, so we might use the almond. How's that sound? Almond. And I'm just using it on, you can, you don't have to have a palette like this either. You could use any plastic, smooth plastic. Um, I've used my yogurt lid, the top of my yogurt lid works. Um, anything that's smooth, uh, you could use uh, a piece of plastic, uh, you know how you get your covers for your paper, what do they call them, plastic loose leaf pocket, you can use that to scribble on, uh, which is kind of cool. I'm just trying to do a nice layer without doing too many lines through there. Hi Andrea, welcome. Welcome, welcome, and happy Halloween again. <laughs> I'm going to use a bigger brush, I think, because I want to get over a fair bit of the skin without having to redab. Just adding a bit of that yellow or almond in there just to offset some of the pink. And then we'll just let it dry for a mini. She's cool. Very cool. I'm going to give her little purple dots on her ears. And they're still wet, so we'll just wait a minute. I don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to dry that off. Okay, okay, let's give her a pink and purple. Oh, actually, I think I might add some blue in here as well. Um, maybe blue-green. Let's have a look. What have we got? Cool aqua. 
Um, what else will I use today? I've got some pale violet and maybe some violet blue. Alright, so what are we going to do? We can do... Let's just do a mixture. A little bit of cool aqua. Cool aqua. I'm just going to turn my page because I'm leaning on my wet and I don't want to smudge it. I've forgotten her shoulder, I just realised. Let's do that as well. A little bit of henna. I don't need to fill it all in. Because uh, when we go over with the water brush, it's just going to blend all that out a little bit further. Um, I'm going to use a smaller brush just to get into those smaller areas too. Um, I don't know, Sean. I, I kind of like them all. I think I like maybe the mermaids. I don't know. Hard question. Just adding water in the outside areas just to blend it out so it's not just, as I said before, a harsh line. I can't believe I haven't only used these brush pens once or twice. Because I really do like them. <laughs> I just forgot they were there because they were hiding in a box. I need to uh, put them out in my new marker stand, hey? Let that dry for a minute and come back around to our unicorn horn. Just wet my brush a little bit so it's nice and heavy with water so I can blend it out. I think I might do a hair a mixture of these two colours as well, purple and blue bit of pink or something through there as well. There is a teal. Well, it's there's turquoise and ocean teal. But I kind of wanted that light aqua colour. Just blending it out. It's kind of cool because uh, I just put a blob in the middle and it's blended out both sides of that. Very cool. Back down here to the skin. 
I'm just going to add in a little bit of the skin one down on the shoulder here. Now that's dried a bit. Just blending off some of those lines too. It's not like ink tents that you can't reactivate either. Which is good because you can go back in and just get rid of some of those lines and things that aren't working for you. And then a little bit of almond. Just cleaning off that palette again. Almond. Can't function today. <laughs> Oh yes, this is watercolour paper. It's cheap watercolour paper. Well, I find it quite cheap. Um, I'm using this one. It's a cold press. And I'm using the smooth side. So there's two sides of paper. One's like a rough kind of texture and this is a, the opposite side which is a smooth texture and uh, just using that almond and just going over a little bit of yellow into the skin Now, what are we going to do next? Oh, I want to do purple in her, there's little spots here. I want to do some purple in there. I'm going to use pale violet. And that again. And I'm not going to blend this out. I'm just going to leave it. neat otherwise it'll just bl like bleed out everywhere and I don't want it to do that I want to try and keep it like that just do a few dots here so Maybe we could give her teal eyes. Let's have a look. Ocean teal. Let's blend it out with the water. Don't want too much, but. Oh, what a pretty color that is. Alright, let's add a little bit of purple violet to our unicorn horn here. That would be my Fitbit going off somewhere. You're telling me it's break time. But uh, I already ran off before, see. <laughs> so that was, what was it? Violet blue.
Tying up one side of the horn. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Show you it. There you go. It's just crystal bars. Found it in an op shop and I went, oh, I like that. I'm going to use that for my water jar. <laughs> Very relaxing hearing that little ting every time I pop that brush in there. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of pink on the opposite side. I don't want to use the magenta. I think that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go with the, I think it's Cerise. Is that how you say it? Cerise? How do you guys say it? Cerise? Cerise? Who knows? But I'm using that. a little bit down the bottom there. Hi Vicky. Bye Rochelle. I put the wrong end of my brush in the water then. <laughs> that was funny. Melody, it's worth it. They're awesome. I think Karen's direct uh, shipped directly from their from their website as well. I don't know if that costs shipping or what, but it's worth checking that out too. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna do that uh, cool aqua over these little beads here oh Jenny hi um, I have a Epson workforce and it prints pretty much everything I've tried to put in it so far um, I think the thickest uh, paper I've got in it is the I can print on the Strathmore Tantone paper quite easily um, and I've got a couple of thicker watercolour papers like uh, I've got the Canson XL mixed media paper as well I can get that through so yeah not too bad I think I'm going to do hair um, a mixture of all of this I need to add a little bit more of that ocean teal into the eyes just to darken those edges up. Just blend that out a little bit. Need some sort of pink in her lips, I think. We'll use that uh, cerise, whatever it is. <laughs> she's got a, um, a lip ring and she's also got a nose ring, so we'll come back in with yellow and fill a little bit of that out. Yeah, I had a laser printer that uh, it's pretty good. It's got a flatbed print thing on it and it would let me do it. But the laser, I had so much trouble with the ink peeling off the images. 
um, you rub your hand over it and the ink would peel off the paper because the paper is quite smooth. Which is kind of a bummer. She's starting to get there. She's getting a little bit of character now. Aren't she, little Miss Unicorn? She's doing very well. Let's add a little bit of yellow for these nose rings. I've got um, gold. It's a nice rich yellow. I haven't got hardly any water on my brush. I'm just blending it around. I don't want to bleed it out too much. I'm going to do the yellow down here on these little things, I think. But um, maybe we'll make these like pearly green. Let's use that teal green here. Kind of like pretty. That was the ocean teal. I'm just leaving a little gap for a highlight as well, so I'm not bringing that water all the way down. I might even make it look a little bit pearly and put a little bit of pink or the aqua on the other side. But I'll let that dry first. Can't do much while it's wet. Um, she's got her ear down here. Just going to add a little bit of that pink. But I only want the tiniest little bit of the magenta red. Just to fill out. Her earlobe down there. Yeah, the water, I find that the water brush pens, it's too hard to control how much water is coming out of them sometimes. And, um, and you always have water. But with a brush, I can actually dry it off and I can use it fairly dry in areas where I need to pick up color. Um, in areas where I need more water, I can put more water. I just find there's a little bit more control with it. Some people like the water brush pens better, so that's fine too. Hi, Linda, welcome. So, yeah. Yeah, the laser was really bad. I had I did an image, I coloured it with um, Prismacolor pencils and it was terrible. I by the time I'd finished the image the it, it the black was all peeling off. It looked terrible. I was just so frustrated with it all the time. Um, I need Oh, I just had something in my brain then. <laughs> the skin pink. I'm just gonna put this still skin one. Just a little bit in the corner of our eye there, I just noticed that it was needed to be coloured. And I think I need to put a little bit of the, let's put the psoriasis in there as well. But just on my 
little board here. As I said, you don't need to use this particular board. You can just get a piece of loose leaf plastic pocket or something like that and use that as well. I was using my my yogurt lid but I wanted to get this palette because I like the way that it has the scratchy surface on one side and the smooth on the other. It just makes it easier when you're using the neo colors and also the pencils and things as well. So um, she needs a little bit of color in her eye <clears throat> to show a bit of a shadow. I'm going to go with neutral gray one. Neutral gray one. Look at my nail polish may. It's starting to peel off already. One, one layer will do that. <laughs> Just popping it around the outside of the eye. Adding a little bit of shape in there. Uh, not too much water though for this bit because we don't want to bleed out into the coloured parts. Just blending that out into the eye. Okay, let's come back down here to these. Let's do this Cerise. Cerise? Cerise? Come on. Who knows? Thanks, Nicotina. Just uh, a fair bit of water in there. Not it fairly light. And uh, I'm just going to go around the highlight side. And add that in. Use that for these little beads here along the top. Let's use it also in. the beads on her hair <whistles> do, 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 do. I've got the big blue house in my head still That teal, I think I need to add a little bit more through. This is the uh, pale, cool aqua, sorry. Just through the middle of our horn again. <laughs> Hi, Blue. Welcome. Cerise is how you say it. Cerise. Is that what I was saying before? Cerise. I think I, was, I said that at the start and then changed it. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I find that with these adding layers on top of colour, it's a little bit harder to uh, blend out because the paper's already been wet before. Um, sometimes I also find that drawing directly onto that can rip the paper too, so just be careful doing that as well. Oh, that horn looks cool. Hasn't he? Alright, I need some yellow. This is the gold. You know what? I was going to do... these gold but I think I might just do the outside edges and do the inside edges a colour so 
It's like little gold pieces holding some gems or something. I've got that uh, Cerise. I'm using the Karen uh, Brush Pro Markers. Brush, brush Marker Pro. <laughs> Thanks, May. <mate. laughs> no, it's the first time. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. <laughs> oh, dear. You just got to make sure that you let things dry in between. Uh, the good thing about this paper is it dries pretty quickly. <laughs> May. You got to be patient too. I think um, making sure you wa wash your brush and clean it and dry it when you need to. Um, I think it's tempting to just go in, no matter what amount of water you've got on there, or if you've still got color on the brush, and just keep going. But if you want to get some highlights and things, you need to. Clean off your brush in between and make sure that you don't have too much colour on the brush when you're doing your highlight sections. So now I've got a little bit of a highlight and I've also got some shadow shadow areas. Let's use that to rice for the little beads here. We can come back in with a white gel pen or something later and add some highlights in here as well. <laughs> You're back? Oh, you missed me telling me how good my horn was. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, I think we need, I've got green in here, um, should we do the same? I think I might do the same. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the middle of those though, just blend them out a little bit. There was just a line where the pink went into the green. But I think I like that. We'll do the same on these ones. Sure, it's just an Epson workforce. It's actually in my kit, I think. This is the uh, Ocean Teal again. I had some questions about the Tombow um, markers, but I would do exactly the same thing that I'm doing now with the Tombows. And actually, even the Arteza brush pens, which I don't like as much because they're not very pigmented. Oh, they do? Oh, it's uh, the one I've got is the A3 one. Uh, 7710. Seven, it is 7710. <laughs> um, now I think I missed I need to make these little bits in here gold there's a little dot in each of those sections I'm going to use a smaller brush again this time I'm going to go with a zero zero because I don't want to put too much water in there.
Okay. Um, now I think I might make there's a bit of a bit of gold, gold, gold. Wait, yeah, that was gold. A bit of that gold up here. I just had a feeling I wasn't using gold, but I was. And I think um, I'm gonna do gold. On the very edges and maybe do a color in the middle of that maybe the teal don't know yet a bit of a blend that out a bit first had a build up of green on the side of my glass and had to rinse that off again. There is two down here, look at that. Let's do that one. first I think we need to add some of this purple violet in here so I've got purple violet no wait violet blue sorry my bad just in the shadow sides and then I'm gonna have a little bit of a highlight no section so I'm going to use a smaller brush. I've got a number, what have I got here? One somewhere here. Little baby one. little highlight spot here in the middle just to do that I've just pushed the water out towards the darker sides start in the middle I think and just it's good I like this color Okay, now we had a little bit of gold on this edge. Oh, I got some cerise there on the edge, but that's all right. Some cerise to still have on my board here. Oh, that came out awesome. I really like that. It's just bled out into my yellow a little bit though. Naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty, very naughty. <laughs> yes, they do. They do, they do. Um, I didn't have any, but um, I did... Uh, have a look at them and they are the same uh, a little bit more of the cerise cerise just want to put some of that in the green And I just want to blend out the line between them.
I actually brought the real brush prints thinking that they would be like the Zig ones. But, um, I didn't like them that much. Alright, but obviously they're a cheaper version, but let's do the necklace. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do that gold or that violet blue. And do gold in the middle. I'm doing the violet blue this time first because it the gold ran out into it. So I'm going to size 3 brush. Clean my brush in between so that I don't get too much colour in that highlight part. I'm just pushing that excess water out towards the darker areas. <coughs> I don't know. I'm not going to say it again now. <laughs> Cerise, Cerise? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, the wind's picked up. The house is creaky. <laughs> Alright, I think we've done enough of the uh, image now. I think we need to do a hair and then the background. I'm considering doing the background and the hair the same colours, but maybe not. Um, I think I want to use a bit of the pink, a bit of this violet and some of the... I don't know... Let's just do pink and violet. That will leave the lighter blue to stand out a little bit more. And this time I'm going to use... What have we got? Magenta. I'm going to mix it up, so I want to do a mixture of different colours. And hi Maria. Let's do a plat pink. Let's do mm, thinking this bit here behind her ear and down here. It's kind of like a plait, I guess. And maybe this bit here. Um, okay, that's pretty good for the pink, I think, for now. Go 
I'm going to use the violet blue. Coming up this front section. Just a little bit, uh, just trying to even it out a little bit I guess and spread the color around because I think I need to add another color in here and I'm thinking it might need to be the aqua Shara and hello. Also happy Halloween to those that have just come in. Okay, um, let's do a little bit here. Okay, now I'm going to do, I think I might do the aqua maybe, because I want to bring some of this down into here as well. So I've got cool aqua, actually what else have I got that's not as light? Maybe turquoise it's a little bit darker I'm just filling out the rest with turquoise now it's not quite as light as the aqua but it's similar And I think it's just enough to separate it from the rest of the hair. Split it up a little bit. Black Velvet. <laughs> I like that song. It's a good song. Anyway, I shouldn't sing. It's bad for my... It's bad for my throat. This is going to be quite rich. I'm putting a lot of color in here. So it's not going to be faded out like this stuff up here. It'll be really rich. Dark.
I think I got it all. Hi Louise. Thank you. Um, adding a little bit of gold. This is dry down here. Just adding some gold. In there. With a tiny little brush to blend that out. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Background, I have no idea. Don't ask me yet. I don't know. Let's do some hair. I gotta do it in parts because I don't want them to blend into each other. So let's just leave some gaps. Too much water. Huh? Sean, I'm sorry, I didn't read that properly. What? Thanks, Lily. Oh, yes. <laughs> I get you now. Okie <laughs> dokie. Oop, too wet. Looking good. A little bit too much water there. I'm just moving around the page, doing all the purples first. Do, do, do. I'm going to be careful up here near the ear. I don't want to um, blend those little dots that I put on there already. Try to keep them a 
nice and clear. I've also left a couple of white spots through the hair too, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Hi Dawn! <laughs> I like Black Velvet, it's a good song. Perhaps not that good. Well, the pink doesn't want to work properly for me. It's not very bright. Why are you not very bright? Come on. I think I need more colour in there. I haven't put enough colour through there. Doesn't want to play. Just wants to stay where it is. Just added a little bit more. Oh. So how are you guys going with your trick or treaters? Have they slowed down? Are you still getting them? Like what time usually do they come a knocking and what time do they usually finish knocking? See, Halloween's kind of weird here because it's like coming into summer. We've got daylight savings. It's still like light when people knock on our door. We had about four lots last night, but I told them to go away. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't do it here. It's not a thing that we celebrate. Now on to green. You had no one? <laughs> I 
<laughs> so Leslie, where are you again? You're in, are you in Queensland? <laughs> Linda. Mine would just be more like run. <laughs> She's looking really cool now. time to finish too I just need to do the background I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the background oh it's getting windy the blinds are moving around Friday night takeaway night pizza mm -mm. and maybe rain sounds good Starting to get really warm in my little den. <laughs> I can't put my air conditioner on because it's really noisy. And um, I mean, my computer's noisy enough in here as it is without having that on as well. Oh, I missed a bit of hair down here. Let's just make that green. Little girl was poisoned. New South Wales, what? Where, Linda? Oh, people are just really rude. And you know what it is? I think it's because we don't generally celebrate it here. So idiots uh, decide that they're just going to teach people a lesson. And it's just wrong. Mmm sad and wrong happy with how the eyes look. I'm going to put a little bit more of the neutral grey in there. Just blend it out a little bit more. Okay, now, background. Oh, Helen, thank you so much for joining. I'm using Cool Aqua. I'm just going to do a few scribbles in the background here. And then we're just going to water it up.
Oh, look at my scribbles. <laughs> pretty. Pretty scribbles. Big brush. Oh, thanks, Linda. This is a new book, so um, if you missed it, does anyone want me to redo that that flip through? I can redo it, or you can go back and watch. It's up to you guys. I don't mind redoing it if you want to see the book. Oh, I love this. How rough can you be? And you just get this beautiful watercolored background. It's awesome. There's a little bit of pink in there because I s dropped some pink there. <laughs> oh, good. I'm going to get some of the hair colour bleeding out, but that's okay. Makes it look more watercoloured. I need to just get rid of some of that water. It's probably a bit too much in there. Hi, Sahara. I didn't even know you were here. I hope you feel better. I know that head pounding feeling. I'm pretty sure it's the heat. <sighs> I've been drinking. We got this new cold infusion tea. They brought it out last summer. Lipton, I think it is. No, I don't know what brand it is, but I've got rose lemonade. And it's it reminds me of um, rose water that you can get from like Lebanese restaurants. It's yum. I'm getting wrinkly because I'm saturating the paper too, but that's okay too. So I will see you guys on Monday. Monday I have, I've got a couple of new books to show you guys. So um, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to have to double check. I don't want to say until I double check for sure, but it'll be between Lisa Marie and I also have a book here from Nathaniel Wake, which finally arrived. Been waiting for it for a little while now. But uh, it will be from one of those. Lisa Marie does a little animal grayscale colouring pages. She's bringing out a book, and I'm not sure what date that's coming out, so I'll need to double check that. And then hopefully Friday we'll get the next colour along organised. That will be a bit of fun. With our ballerinas. I'm definitely thinking we might turn that one into a project, so maybe some sort of shadow image or I don't know but I want to make it mixed media so we'll do a bit of everything Infused tea, yeah, that's it. 
I got the strawberry lemonade, or the rose lemonade one. I also really like the watermelon, strawberry and mint. Oh, it's to die for. Um, I've got three different flavours. I can't remember the other one. It mustn't be very impressionable. <laughs> now, I've got a few little... Uh, lines and runny bits here but that's okay I don't mind having those I'm going to put a little bit more of that of that uh, what have we got again cool aqua on my board here and I'm just going to do a few water dumps Creating a bit of a watercolour look in the background here. And my paper's kind of curved and curled, so I'm just going to make it run a bit. <laughs> All right. Now we need some highlights and we're done. Just going to pop all these away. Oh, I just dropped it. I've got to put them all back in the right spots. I'm full on when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> all right, let's just do that. Then I put a little bit of the the metallics on there too. I think. So the metallics aren't water based or water activated. Um, <clears throat> before I do that, I need some Posca pen. Water, strawberry, and mint, and we have rose lemonade. Ah, oh, that's right. Blueberry, apple, and black currant. That's cool. Add some shiny sections here, I think. Do this highlight in the eye. Just gonna smudge that out a little bit. gel pen just gonna go in and these little piercings here I'm just gonna add some little highlights because I've gone over it with skin color and I just realized in the ear here I haven't activated that so it's quite dark uh, what else else I'm still wet down here so it's sort of rubbing my arm on there <laughs> the paper's still a little bit wet down here and the pen doesn't want to work properly I 
Try a different one. Well, that one worked nicely. Still not quite light enough. Let's go with the... Well, what have we got? Posca. Thanks, Abby. Happy Halloween to you guys. Oh, I haven't decided on the... what I'm going to put some highlights on the unicorn's horn. I don't know yet. Getting there. Just put these finishing touches on. I'm not quite as fast as me. Full on keeps beating us in these challenges. Don't you, mate? <laughs> You won't be able to see this when I scan it up, but I'm going to put it in anyway and make it pretty. This is the uh, metallic blue. Just give it a bit more of a shake. And maybe the metallic purple. Uh, metallic violet. And uh, <laughs> I might put some silver where the white is on this. I think silver will be just as good a highlight there as well. Metallic silver. I can't really see it very well there, but it doesn't really show up very well on this paper, actually. of a bummer isn't it no it's not working let's put some glitter on there instead eh <laughs> what have I got <laughs> I love the purple wink as so let's go violet So note to self, watercolour paper doesn't like metallics. It's not too bad with glitters. <laughs> not too bad. This is a uh, glitter orange. So 
actually really pretty. Not that you guys could probably see it there, but it is. What other colour do I have? Oh, I've got glitter. Wait, I've got another glitter. Hang on, what's this one? <gasps> Dark pink glitter. Let's put some in her hair. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I know it's hard to see, but it's pretty. And then I've also got a purple one as well, so let's do the purple. Violet. it. Shining violet, violet. Seems I never use these uh, for anything else. Why not? I need a clear one so I could do it over the other colours as well, but eh, one day. She's very pretty. I was painting it on my nails. It's just going over my nails and giving myself glitter, but it just washes off. <laughs> it does, it does wash off. There we go. Can we see some of the glitter? Let me see if I can get the right angle of light there. Every now and then you can see a sparkle. I'm bummed about the metallic though. It just went really flat, didn't it? It did, it did indeed. We need some pink on the lips. That's cool. <laughs> She's pink and glittery lips now. I'm done, peoples. I have to take uh, Faith to her exam. Who round it with orange? Oh no, that it's just gold. It's not orange. See, it's just gold. To me, it's not orange. It just looks like it's yellow. It's full on yellow. It's just called orange. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Faith's got it maths today too. This afternoon. Uh, sometime. <laughs> and the wind's picking up a lot here, so I'm going to go and turn my air conditioner on and uh, try and get you guys out a video. Miss Ugh. Belinda is a bit slack this week, not feeling that great, so I <laughs> haven't done much in the way of colouring for us. I'm very disappointed in those metallics. I think they'd be better as a brush pen for doing calligraphy and things like that. Not on watercolour paper either, because they sunk right into that. Hey, I got a new diary. It's hollow. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know what this line is here. I must have been stuck on something. It's just put this great big line on it. What a bummer. Anyway, it's cute. It is cute. <laughs> So guys, that is it. I will see you on Monday for something. We'll find out. It'll happen. 
And uh, you won't be able to see the glitter when I scan it up, but I'll scan this one up and uh, and uh, pop it on social media. I'll also pop a colour list up. Alicia and I will go through and um, we'll convert it to say, what have I got? Tombows maybe and some uh, teasers I think might be enough. I don't think we'll need to do... If I had other brands I could do but I don't I still need to get all of the neo colors still to come <laughs> you're not blocked, Abby. You're a, you're um, an admin. You can't be blocked. Yeah, I think it's about the same, Linda. That's funny, isn't it? And uh, she's got art in about ten days or something. But yeah. Oh, thanks, Joey. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, have a great rest of your um, your uh, Halloween, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you. See you later. For those that are still here I forgot I have stickles <laughs> so uh, but the lid is blocked so I'm just gonna put some on the uh, green bits but I'm done bye guys <laughs>